Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Do you hate to argue? Are you one of those people that do not like a confrontation? Really, I don't think anyone really likes a confrontation. Confrontations are ugly sometimes. They are scary because a lot of times when someone gets mad at us, there's this thing that happens inside of us. It trips us into a fight or flight system and we can't even think clearly. A lot of times when we're arguing, we can't even argue ourselves out of a wet paper bag until we go home and think about it for a while. Then we think of all the things we could have said, however we didn't in the moment of the heated argument. How come? Well, because arguing and fighting and confrontation cause us to move into that fight or flight system. A lot of times when we're unprepared giving a talk, it also does the same thing. A lot of people are afraid of talks or become very, very fight or flight oriented when they're speaking in front of public or in front of groups. It's all the same mechanism that happens inside of us. And what that is, is a presupposition of looking into the future with a negative expectation. And we're so afraid of what other people think about us, like we talked about yesterday, that sometimes the way we think has us automatically thinking that we're going to lose the argument because we're going to go into an argument and that argument is going to create confrontation and then people are going to draw judgment on us and not like us. Here's the way around that. First of all, never get into an argument. And how do we do that? You see, when we get into an argument, what's going on is we're going to subject ourselves to another person's rules. When someone wants to argue with you or they raise their voice or they're acting as if they're mad at you, one of the best things you can do is acknowledge that by validating them saying, I can see that you're upset with me right now and looking at it from your perspective, I probably would be too. Let's do this. Let's take a time out. I'm going to go in the other room and relax and when you feel like you want to talk about this and not yell at me, I'll listen. Now you might say, well, they're just going to keep on yelling. What you then is just turn around and walk away. This is one of the best ways to manage arguing, but what it's going to do is train that other person. If you do this ongoing, every time they raise their voice to you, it's going to train them that you're going to walk away and not talk to them. One of the things you have to do though, is be willing to re-engage with them when they want to talk and face up to what they're talking about. That's the best way to move through confrontation and the fear of arguments. Arguments are not worthwhile. You're never going to convince anyone to take your point of view when you're arguing. Have you ever seen anybody when you're arguing say, okay, I guess you're completely right. I was wrong. Probably not going to happen. It can happen. On a rare occasion it might. Most of the time it doesn't. So let's work on that. We're going to move into the weekend right now and let's take a look at what we can do to not argue and facilitate growth between us and the person that's confronting us. All right? Until tomorrow, I should say until next week, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary non-arguing day. Bye-bye.